Welcome back. We're taking calls and questions on social media, on uh, Twitter, Libertarian, also on YouTube, Libertarian. But we've got a couple of callers who've been holding for a while. Uh, Henry in Minnesota has been holding for quite a while. You wanted to talk about a freedom march that's coming up in Minnesota. Tell, tell us about that, Henry. Go ahead. Yeah, it's coming up on uh, June 23rd, so in just a couple weeks here, which I believe, my understanding is it's the same day as we're having our the gay pride parade here in Minnesota. But this uh, Freedom March is featuring uh, LG, people who've left the LGBT uh, lifestyle. And they're going to be uh, sharing their testimonies at the uh, Minnesota Capitol building. Okay, so uh, so it's there at the Minnesota Capitol. You're going to have a, a parade there at the same time. Well, that should be uh, kind of fireworks because, you know, this is Pride Month, uh, Pride for LGBT, but uh, shame on everybody else is, is what we hear from these people, right? Yeah, they're not exactly. allowed to, to not have a different opinion. They're absolutely, you must, they're not looking to for tolerance. Uh, they want you to uh, not just tolerate what they do sexually. They want you to celebrate it, and they demand that you celebrate it. You can't uh, have a different opinion. Mm-hmm. And this will be, uh, the people putting this on are people who, like, lived in that lifestyle and who testified of how it was uh, destructive and that they were able to leave that lifestyle. And so, of course, like, the LGBT agenda is totally against that. They, they want to say there's no way to leave it, you're, you're stuck in it, and you need to accept it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I mean... Uh... Uh, we all struggle with different things. And, and of course, really, yep. you know, I, as I see churches out there saying, well, we're going to have a, um, we're going to have a particular event, uh, this Lake County church in Florida, we're going to have a make America straight again event. And I look at that and it's like, well, you know, here, here's the deal. Uh, most people don't really care about that. And, and if you're not a Christian, uh, you know, why would you care about doing something like that? I mean, to me, a church, this is a church, instead of trying to make America straight again, why don't they try to make America Christian again? And the bottom line is, if you want to have a relationship with God, uh, you need to recognize that he's Lord. You need to recognize what he has to say about things. And if you're coming at it from that kind of perspective, uh, that's a completely different perspective than saying uh, somebody whose values you don't share are going to give you a set of rules to follow, and therefore you ought to follow these rules. I, I, we can make a, a pragmatic argument for that, but I think until we have, uh, until somebody's got a, a reason uh, that they want to change their life, they're not really, it's going to be very difficult for people to have the power to change their lives if they don't have uh, the power of Christ in, in changing their lives. So I think many times, you know, like looking at this event here, uh, saying we're going to make people straight, sometimes that puts the, the cart before the horse. Let's, let's get people focused on uh, knowing who God is and knowing more about God. And if they know more about God and they find out that he's got a, a, a better plan for their life, that he loves them, uh, that he uh, uh, loves them as they are, but he's not content to leave them as they are. He's got something better for them. And by the way, you know, he's uh, he's put these uh, things down as, um, you know, things for you to do. And, uh, you know, why, if you're going to follow him, you don't accept him as Lord. I mean, that's really the perspective that I, I would look at this. But But when I look at it just from a neutral standpoint, what stands out to me is the fact that, you know, this is, uh, you don't see this as LGBT month. They don't talk about that. They talk about it as being, Pride Month. Mm -hmm. uh, again, as a Christian, I know that God hates nothing, uh, even sexual sin. He doesn't hate anything as much as he does pride. And I don't celebrate pride in any way, shape, or form. I try to get pride out of my life if I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to be proud about anything about it in my life. I don't want to be proud of the fact that I'm a Christian. I don't want to be proud of the fact of anything. I, I just want to you know, be humble. Uh, that's what, as Christians, we're striving for, you know, instead of pride. I don't pride in my flag or pride in my country or anything. I want hum humility uh, to follow and and to humility to know that I don't have all the answers and to, uh, humility to know that there is a Lord above me. I mean, that's to me, that's what it's about. When are we going to have a humility month? Yeah, <laughs> Henry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I think that that's like the when people are prideful, they can't acknowledge that they might be wrong about something. That yeah, they they believe that they think that everything they believe is the truth and and so then they're unopen to uh, other viewpoints and to That's right. the idea like hey maybe the bible is true maybe we should be walking out and i, I see like the vast majority of the issues that are plaguing us today are because people don't know what the bible actually teaches you see mm -hmm. some that will mm -hmm. 
like on the other side, you see, you'll see like pastors who will take a few of these verses and just do hate against the LGBT community as opposed to trying to rescue them. Like Jesus came to seek and save the lost. That's right. That's right. You, you look at the situation like King David, right? Uh, beloved of God. And yet, uh, uh, how was David punished? You know, one of the greatest punishments that he had was because of his pride. He just wanted to take a, a, an inventory of his military might. And it seems like God had greater uh, punishment for that uh, than he did even for the sin that we would look at and say, well, wait a minute, he committed adultery with Bathsheba and he killed her husband and so forth. Mm-hmm. That's really heinous because we look at that as something that was done to another man. And so we put a higher value on that, you know, but, but God really hated the pride as well. He got as much punishment for that, if not more so. Uh, for that. Yeah, he, the sword never left his house after uh, Bathsheba. Uh, but uh, so that was a lot of punish, uh, personal punishment. But he also had people who came to him and called him out on this. I mean, this is a guy who knew what was right and wrong. No question that David didn't know that that was wrong when he mm-hmm. had, uh, uh, when he took Bathsheba and had her husband murdered. He knew that was wrong. Uh, but again, he was persisting in that until he had somebody else come to him and tell him about that. And so we have all these pastors who don't want to confront this issue in their congregation because they don't think that's loving. It was loving when Nathan told him that. That was an act of love. You know, faithful are the wounds of a friend, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have to speak out about this because we love people. We don't want to leave them in this kind of a situation. Uh, Thank you. Uh, That's good. People, uh, so it's June 23rd in uh, the capital of Minnesota. Okay, good. 1 to 5 p.m. Okay, great, great. All right, you know, I, I just saw this um, a story coming out of California, as a matter of fact. Uh, another pushback against Chick-fil-A. This one coming out of San Mateo. A uh, county official there is pushing to stop a Chick-fil-A restaurant from opening up in Redwood City. Uh, this was formerly a McDonald's restaurant that closed, so they're going to remodel it, and it would be the 13th Chick-fil-A restaurant uh, in the San Francisco Bay Area. But this one particular uh, county supervisor told reporters he's going to stop it because he's going to stop them from getting an architectural permit. Uh, And he said the reason is that the founder of Chick-fil-A expressed support for traditional marriage. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I'm talking about. They they won't tolerate people who like traditional marriage or who support traditional marriage. You must celebrate their choices, and they are intolerant of you. And, And so that's really the issue that we see coming out of this. There was a a, there was talking about Chick Fil A. There was a Babylon B satire piece said Chick Fil A is going to celebrate Pride Month by serving delicious chicken sandwiches to everyone, just like they do every other month. <laughs> and that's the bottom line, you know. That why can't we just have that kind of, as you point out, you know, freedom and tolerance of other people's uh, viewpoints? But they won't tolerate that. In this Babylon B story, they said uh, restaurant spokespeople didn't even announce a program; they just kept serving chicken sandwiches. Offering truck customers a good value for their money, providing stellar customer service. When asked about their Pride Month plans, a spokesperson shrugged and said, well, uh, just come in and have some food. We'll give it to you at a reasonable price and make sure you have a positive experience. We won't even ask about your sexual orientation. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep doing what we always do. And then the satire piece here from Babylon B, they said, one gay customer says it's kind of weird. Their logo isn't a rainbow or, or on social media. They don't have any kind of special signage telling me that I'm special. But all the same, I walked in, they happily served me food, and I went on my way. Why can't we have a live and let live situation? Well, we have to understand that that is not what this is being used for. And these people uh, that are part of this movement are being used. They're being used by politicians. They're being used to try to manage the rest of us and to try to control our speech. And I'm not proud of that. I'm not proud of that agenda. We'll be right back. Take more of your questions. 